What is up? I'm Warren Turtle, and today we have another PSA returns video. Uh, a lot, of, all of this is from a submission I did at the end of summer, and so far I think out of like six submissions, I got two of them back. Uh, if you did submit something through me to PSA, it seems kind of random in the order that they come back. So uh, everything should be getting to me back soon. Uh, but what came back is a pack uh, submission as well as a bulk order so we have 98 items total and um, the patron ones are not yet back so these are all just for myself and starting off with some pack uh, grades and so this is a v max pack that came in the ev heroes special i think it came came with like a handful of packs and then one of these v max packs i think it just has like one of each uh evolution not alt arts or anything like that um and there's a couple different v max things. i'm actually not sure how to tell difference but this one's clearly the s6a for ev heroes and it's only got a nine which i mean prefer a 10 but all this pack only has v max on it doesn't even have an art so no worries there but then we did send all of the ev hero packs um so we do have some tens which is awesome uh if you are a patron and you're interested in any of these i am going to be posting these um at least a handful of them on my ebay store and i always do have a link down below uh, but if you are interested and you are a patron just let me know what you're interested in and i can sell it to you for you know at least uh, 10 to 20 percent off uh market price and um I'll, I'll probably put a post on patreon about it but so far we are all tens which is awesome i'm pretty sure we have some nines and i do think this is a good candidate to be graded um it does have a very unique um pack art that's not that's not even a card so uh kind of like this art is only for the booster pack I would say the only downside is that there's only one art, so they're all the same, which I think from a collecting point of view means you only need one. All right, so we do have at least one nine. And so a bulk of the stuff that was graded was either this EV Heroes, which again, all I did was open one of those V Max. Um, I don't remember what they call it, that product. And then we went to Generations. So I did submit a handful of each pack art. We do got a 10 on the Charizard, which is awesome. So a couple things. This service is not cheap it costs 30 dollars per pack uh but the case is very nice uh very thick it kind of reminds me of um compared to like the regular psa card slab how like bgs is just very thick it's like oh wow the card is not that the psa is not protective enough uh i was like wow that card's really in there um that's what this reminds me of but obviously the pack is bigger and the older style they would like fold the thing down which was very bizarre in my opinion uh so long story short the case feels great i really like it i think this is a great display piece for any um i don't know i'll probably branch off into other sets but it is not cheap and i have no idea how to tell like oh looking at the before you submit it's like okay this will get a nine this will get a ten i'm sure there's some method to it but it's very unclear to me i don't know, like maybe there's like a crease here or something but um, yeah, so we do have some nines, a good amount of tens, which I'm happy about. Ooh. And again, if you are a patron and interested in something, just let me know. All right, got a bunch of stacks. So 98 items total, just shy of 100. Uh, but I didn't want to wait for the next batch to come in. Actually, I, I do did get an email today about one another order, which some of the items got upcharged. They were not any of the patrons, just my stuff. Uh, so another batch should be coming shortly. We're on to the Blastoise pack art. I do think Generations is nice, you know, compared to like, you know, like 151, even Celebrations, they did have all the, both of them had the base of the starters, but they have a very boring pack art. So I feel like Generations is a great uh, one to kind of like get a night of a set of. And I want to say like on eBay, I think I want to say like the 10s are going for like 150 um, and the 9s maybe like 50 or something like that. Pretty cheap. Especially when you consider like the the grade per each of these is 50, uh, thirty dollars, and I want to say these packs at least a while back were going for like fifty dollars themselves. And so like if you are considering the oh should I get packs graded, I will do that for people. Um, but you just want to send it you know safely to me, obviously. And it just it feels kind of like a gamble, which you know not that different than opening packs, uh, just because at least I'm not going to pretend to be able to discern a nine versus a 10 like i'm you, sure you could tell what sub eight sub nine um but between nine and ten 
don't know, it seems pretty arbitrary to me. And the price difference is quite huge. Uh, but then looking through some like eBay sold listings, and we got the Pikachu arts. The the jump is huge, and and like it's because it's not cheap. It seems like random ones are pretty expensive. I think I saw like a Celestial Storm, <laughs> like a hundred dollars for a pack. Uh, so I'm tempted to go through. I feel like boxes of just like raw packs that I broke product for breaks or something, but then had some left over. And I'll probably go through it just to see if anything is worth grading. I find it unlikely just because they I put them in like ETB boxes just to sit there. So they were not protect well protected by any means. And last we got Venusaur. I think those were all nines, but we do got at least one ten. So I'm definitely going to keep at least a art set ten for myself and then list some of the, the extra ones on eBay. Again, if you are a patron interested in any of these, just let me know. Primarily just um generations and EV heroes. EV heroes, I think especially sub 10, it's a great collector's piece that's not that expensive. Alright, we're gonna move on to the cards next. So nothing too insane here. Nothing actually got upcharged, which is good, but also means there's <laughs> nothing too crazy as far as like value goes. So a lot of these are from Obsidian Flames, as you can see. I feel like my favorite thing, obviously there's Charizards. I actually don't think I have any of the Charizards, any of the good ones, uh, but I'm really, I was really happy to grade the Pidgey line. I feel like it's just a very iconic Pokemon. Ash had one and it's what you start off with in, or if you played red, blue or yellow, you go through the forest and you pick up Pidgey. I feel like most people did had that sand attack thing, which you could cheese some bosses, even like Brock, uh, just so that he could never hit you. And then you eventually just wear him down with Gust. So we got the Pidgeotto. Not my favorite one. I think the other two are better, which is kind of disappointing. Not that this art is bad, but um, Pidgeotto, I felt like was pretty useful for, for Ash back in the day in the original show. So I think we got, all right, one, as long as I got a 10 of the entire line, I'm happy. This is my favorite one, the Pidgey. And um, you know, these cards, I'm not going to pretend that they're going to go up. Like, I think I picked them up for like 10 bucks on TCG player just to submit them. Um, but I just love that art. It's, it just feels, it just reminds me of the game. You have to walk through the grass and run to Pokemon. So there's a bunch of Pidgeys like hiding in the grass. I think that is just perfect for this Pokemon um, and a great alt art. One thing about PSA. So yeah, it took, I guess like more than three months. It, it was never fast to begin with. It's still not fast. Uh, and I feel like the, the maybe just because now everyone submits pack fresh cards and they can't have everything be a 10. But, you know, if I look at a 9, I look at a 10, I cannot tell you why. Actually, you know what it might be? I typically look at the back to look for centering. And I don't know, I could be convinced if this side looks a little thicker than that. And maybe that's what did it. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not too impressed with my ability to discern nines from tens as far as what I should submit it. Again, I, I guess the side borders, but then when I look at the back, it looks pretty good, which is very frustrating to me as far as like printing quality if the alignment is not the same on both sides. Uh, but we did get a handful of tens, so I'm happy with that and just, yeah, love this art. I don't know why I didn't submit it in evolutionary line order because we're moving to Houndor. Pretty decent art in my opinion. Uh, I do know some people, um, that I've met through the hobby that are big fans of Houndor. Uh, so he is pretty cute. Uh, looks like we just got nines. Doesn't look, I don't see a 10. This is probably the most expensive card you can kind of see it on the side, as well as the grade. <laughs> just a little. Uh, so we did submit a gold star Charizard. It is only a two though, so I didn't even get upcharged for that, which I guess is nice. And uh, yeah, you can see plenty of wear. At this point, like my queue of super expensive cards is kind of out but i still have plenty of cards that even like ones or twos they are worth getting graded uh for things like gold star charizard unless it's for a binder i think i have one that actually has like a literal hole in it uh that would be like my binder collection um so only a two but uh makes sense to me this one is a little disappointing it is a ultra shiny gx charizard um i don't know I, this might be one that i did crack actually no i think i can tell that this is different so this must be one that still had raw uh only got the nine um yeah i think hidden fates like hidden fates english definitely lost some ground as far as psa 10 goes but it's not that surprising uh just because 
in this new era of alt arts, like this is just a recolor and I, I that makes sense to me. Uh, but the Japanese still holding up pretty well. I think it continues to creep up maybe just because grading wasn't as prominent as it was then. So just the supply of them is lower. Actually, a lot of Japanese stuff is very expensive these days and I'm not gonna pretend to understand why. Um, but yeah, only got a nine, a little disappointing. And then I just submitted a bunch of kind of like random full art supporters and stuff like that that I thought had a chance at getting a 10. This one is only a nine, a little disappointing. We got another alt art, the palafin from what is it? Obsidian Flames again. Kind of cool art. I could see this if this Pokemon got popular. It's pretty nice. It reminds me of the um, the samurai guy. Uh, that this art looks very uh, feels very similar to me. But only a nine. Disappointing. This nine tails. I do like this art from Obsidian Flames. I submitted a few of them. Nine. All the nines at this point, like from these brand new sets. I kind of just made a big order on TCG player of the arts I liked, picked up a bunch of them, only submitted probably like 30% because you buy it on TCG player, it's near mint, so the chance of being gem mint are kind of rare, but um, yeah, my screening for what to submit to PSA definitely still needs improvement, and uh, yeah, if you have any tips, let me know. I think people have created like tools to help you measure the borders, if you have any success with any of them, let me know. For example, like. I should be able to discern a eight <laughs> to weed out the eights. So this is a little frustrating. Um, yeah, definitely. I think anything modern that's not like the main chase card, if you get an eight, uh, unless there's sentimental value behind the card, you're kind of not getting enough bang for your buck as far as the grading service. We did get nine. At least we did get one ten for the scissor. This is a pretty cool art in my opinion. Um, I do feel like Scyther was a really cool Pokemon and Scissor is still cool, but not quite as cool as Scyther. Another Obsidian Flame alt art that I really liked is the Larvitar, so happy to pick up the 10 there. I think we might got a couple more. So similar deal, if you are interested in any of these and you are a patron, uh, just let me know. These are less likely to go up on eBay um, just because I don't think there's a ton of value in them. So we do got another Larvitar, this one's only a nine. Got a couple of these. Ooh, I guess Larvitar is pretty tough. All right, three nines, only one 10. Very cute alt art. Just running low on space in front of me. I did grade a Lechonk, not a Pokemon that I'm particularly have much affection for, but I did think that art is pretty cute. I feel like, I don't know, it seems like Pokemon does like the Lechonk. I think they use Lechonk for like a GameStop promo or something. And for whatever reason, the Pidgeot is pretty far back in the submission. Um, not the most amazing art. I do like how they have these roots. I don't remember all the roots in the game. Is this like the, like the bike path one, the cycling road or something? I don't know, but solid art, not as good as Pidgey. I would say better than Pidgeotto though. But this one, at least I did do pretty good. Another 10 right there. And then we did get one nine. All right, moving back in the past a little bit, we got Crown Zenith. I don't think I ever completed this art, but I do like the Riolu and this one did get a 10. And then we did get submit a Radiant Charizard. For these ones, I just, all right, let's just submit one looks good and it does get a 10. It's kind of a great relief um, for these cards that are by no means the chase, but I just appreciate the art. Um, if it gets a nine, it's very disappointing at that point. To me, it's not worth getting graded or was not worth it. Um, so for those one-offs, the tens feel good. These tag team tens, man, I think I like traded and um, sent them to Troll and Toad, a bunch of them. All these like old tag teams, I wish I kept all of them. Uh, even these tin ones, I think I gave like sent to Troll and Toad, a lot of the Mew, Mew and Mewtwo ones and all oh, that art was so good. Even the, the free tin one. All right, here we're going to Celebrations, another time where they reprinted the base set starters. And this one only a mint nine, very frustrating. I do want a 10 for the collection and doubt I'm willing to pay the current rate, especially for a card that wasn't that hard to pull, I think. Uh, Snorlax from Sword and Shield, shout out to you, Pokefan, um, Ty. He keeps me up to date on, oh, we'll talk about TikTok in a little bit, but um, whenever there's good TikTok deals going on, we did get the 10 here, very happy. 
but it is rainbow I don't know rainbow I don't think it's ever gonna bounce back and not surprising I don't expect it to this card I wish I get I wish I have a bunch of tens because I don't know, this is such a meme thing, the Gigantamax VMAX Meowth, and um, this is the only printing, it was just a promo, it's not even in the sets, so I I think I have at least one or two tens, um, maybe I have more to grade, just because it was a very, probably a product that went kind of unnoticed. Uh, a random jungle Flareon, only in your Mint Mint 8, but for such an old card that I just had lying around all this time, happy with that. And a couple other random cards I had. Just a Dragonite. I think I did this the wrong order. Uh, but a Dragonite FB. I actually don't know what FB stands for. But from Supreme Victors. Random B Bay. I don't know what to call her. But only a 9. Yeah, those 9s hurt. And then a Sharpedo. I do I do like these cards. Just because like the old texturing style. Let's see. Yeah, you can, oh, There you go. You can really see it when the texturing was so prominent that you could literally see it in the card from many angles i do miss that i don't like how it's much more subtle now but um not the coolest card but i do like the way that they did the texture all right we got two more stacks going to a oh i used to have a playmat or i do have a playmat for this i don't have it using anymore uh the tea party pikachus uh leah and i i do have a 10 already but for such a cool art, I do want more tens. We're still going through some miscellaneous cards. I just like, all right, this looks good enough. Let's just send it. Porygon 2, it is a pre-release. Looks like Diamond and Pearl. I actually don't even know what this came from. These I Choose You. Um, did just buy like a random lot many years ago. They had a bunch of them. Only a nine. The Crown Zenith Secret Rare Pikachu. I feel like there's a bunch of Japanese promo called like Battle Festa and this is like the English attempt or no I'm sure this was in Japanese too but kind of like has a similar vibe not nearly as good but um would be better if it was a 10. More Crown Zena stuff Dancy we did get a 10 there and yeah as I again I wish tag teams especially like the earlier stuff I wish I kept more of it um I don't even think I have all of them graded definitely not in 10 a random battle styles or shifu man i feel like a lot of the new like quote unquote legendaries i feel like really hit, missed the mark because these two in samasenta didn't never did anything too crazy or shifu very much less so this i do feel like is a weird set the um detective pikachu stuff to be honest never watched the movie just the art style just okay for me but i wonder if this charizard will do okay just because think it just wasn't a great product line um so i am happy to have that in the 10 let's see what we got the galarian zapdos i do like the galarian zapdos the galarian birds again very underwhelming performance thus far but do like the zapdos it that is straight up a chocobo <laughs> from final fantasy very disappointed on the eight a very random expedition alexam oh i i wasn't expecting a great grade but a three <laughs> come on there must be a bend here or something that i didn't notice let's see if we can find it using the ceiling fan hey I, I yeah three is pretty rough like what 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 is this oh okay there you go there it is it's a three these are interesting cards the legends um not that expensive if you think it's cool i re highly recommend you pick them up um you know binder grade copies but even like low psa like sevens i bet they're pretty cheap especially how old they are um and i think they're worth having only a five there oh, we're gonna talk about tiktok for a little bit random pre-release uh flygon yeah, shout outs to Ty. He keeps me up to date. It's like, oh, there's a 20% off. And, you know, just compared to like eBay, I think actually I'm not excited for the new Paldean Fates or whatever it's called or the e Treasure EX. Oh, man. First edition, too. Only a very good three. There must be another like huge dent in the card uh, somewhere that I didn't pick up on. Um, but yeah, I've been 
through like Black Friday picked up a lot of the 151 UPCs for like $70 and you know for 16 packs or like 75 80 after tax for a thing that at big box stores which I bet will be in supply for a very long time but when that normal price is 80 or 120 sorry and it'll probably be a year before like secondary market gets to about MSRP maybe two years but just feels like a great price point and just a very fun set to open actually we did pretty well I did put them off to the sides I think we opened maybe like five of them we did pick up two more Charizard so these are ready to be sent off to PSA they do look pretty good although again I'm I'm struggling to differentiate nine between tens and um, yeah, actually wouldn't mind a nine just so I can have that for a nice like frame I got. All right, we got special delivery Charizard. Seven is, oh, I was hoping for an OC grade. Look at that, look how bad that is. Come on, I have no idea what qualifies OC. This, you know, definitely not miscut, but like, come on. If it's enough to bring it down from a nine to a seven, unless there's like a ding or something, I don't see like any edge wear. So, oh, I guess there's something down here, but disappointed that this did not get the OC. Moving on to some miscellaneous Japanese stuff. We got the Yokohama. So whenever they open new Pokemon Center, they have special promo. I think the most recent one is one for in Taiwan, Taipei. Um, I'm waiting for that thing to go down. I think they're still going for like 30 bucks. And the art is nothing amazing. But these Yokohama ones, it came with, I want to say, let's see how many different arts there were. I think it all came in like one pack, so it wasn't too bad. So he's, what is that? Some kind of float. <laughs> and then he's in a little submarine. And at least these things are very high quality, uh, very high gem or good rate of getting tens. We got the submarine, or maybe that's it. I feel like there's more. There's definitely some of him on a boat. Maybe there's multiple products. We got another of the EV Snorlax, only a nine. Um, but yeah, check out. TikTok, I don't use social media to be honest at all, but I just use TikTok to pick up these deals. And if anyone knows, like what is going on? Like TikTok just must be subsidizing the sellers and, and so that they can sell it at, I don't know, 30, 40% off MSRP. Actually, like let's just say cheaper than I imagine distribution is. And not only that, but I know for a fact that some of them are just drop shipping. I've gotten, when I get the packages in, it's literally, they bought it on eBay. Like the slip, the order form is still there. They bought it from another eBay seller for more than what I bought it from them at and then just had it sent to me. Two UPCs came from an Amazon box. It's literally from Amazon. It was shipped, it was delivered by Amazon driver. And I know for a fact, or I have to imagine, there's not Amazon listings that go unnoticed. Uh, for $70 UPC, so they're just drop shipping it to me. So TikTok just must be, I don't know, just subsidizing the sales. So very strange. If you know exactly what the deal is, I imagine TikTok is just subsidizing it to make their marketplace very prominent right now just to get their footprint in there, which seems to be working. Um, anyway, I digress. So we do have some Ultra Shiny GX. Um, picked these up, I think, at release. Uh, just bought a bunch of them. Um, on eBay and slowly getting through grading them all. I think a lot of the, the good tens have already been graded. Disappointing on this. Um, I'm guessing it's the centering, but the Rayquaza is pretty cool. I think it's doing okay, but definitely not at nine. So that's disappointing. This one even more so. And I feel like eight is just a mistake <laughs> as far as sending it in. Nine is maybe it was hard to tell, but this I'm sure this, if I take a good look at this, like, yep, should not have sent that. We got some more of the tin, the tin uh, promos, of the tag teams. This one, I'm sure there's a bend somewhere. This is a very unique, kind of like that Meowth V Max. Trevor and Dust Noir was never featured in a actual set, so you can only get it via the promo. And I think it was pretty good too. Pretty interesting abilities. I think one of them makes you just, yeah, discard two random cards. Uh, opponent's hand and shuffles them back into the deck that's really moon really cool and wrapping this submission up with some miscellaneous i think i want to say these are secret rare you can kind of tell like it's a very unique foiling pattern disappointed on the eight but a lot of these were just cards that i had it's not like they were always in in sleeves and stuff like that uh, from like lots and stuff like that so a very nice shaman i think this came from 
like the, the XY UPC kind of thing. And then a miscellaneous Blackstar promo, Meowth, followed by similar, a Pikachu to wrap this up. Nine's disappointing, but we'll take it. And uh, so yeah, if you did submit some cards through me, um, they should be back, I would imagine, next couple weeks. Who knows with the holidays, uh, but it shouldn't take too long. I have some more stuff coming in. And yeah, if you're at least one person reached out to me saying, oh, can I still submit cards? Basically, the way it works is I will notify patrons if there's like a special. Um, but barring that, if you just want to submit it at the normal price, which I want to say is 20 um, or yeah, 20 versus sometimes the sale is 15. Uh, just let me know and, you know, happy to help facilitate that for you. Do it at cost or whatever. So that's going to be it for me today. Um, if any patrons interested in any of the packs, uh, just let me know. I'll sell to you 10, uh, 10, 20% at, um, market off market price. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle. Catch y'all next time. Peace.